there, it's Ruth at Artful Stampin'. Now, this year I was very privileged to be chosen to use some of the new ink colours to create some samples for on stage and um, here I have some of the samples and I wanted to just go into a little bit more detail of how I made some of the cards so here we go here's emerald envy this gorgeous green color and I used watercolor wings and I used garden in bloom stamp sets and a little bit of gorgeous grunge around, around the edge here I use the uh, blossom builder punch to do the daisies and these are I think the middle yes it's the middle size daisy there and so here I did sort of second generation stamping and third generation stamping to get the different shading on the butterfly and then underneath that layer is a butterfly cut out with the emerald envy and then actually sponge to get a little bit more of a, a shading on there now this was cut out using the butterfly uh, framelits the stems here were created by um, because it's a photopolymer stamp set, uh, Garden in Bloom, I placed the stem in a bit of a curve rather than straight to create these kind of more bends in, in, the, in the stems there. And then I did sort of first generation, third, second, third, fourth generation stamping to create the kind of shaded effect there and also with the outline as well. After I did all that, I used the fine tip glue pen and just put these little kind of spots of glue on there and then threw dazzling diamonds all over it as you can see I've done that in the centres as well and uh, I think the dazzling diamond works really well with this with this colour here we have a flirty flamingo <coughs> and the punch that I use to create the flowers is the pansy flower punch and then the centres and these little flowers were used made using the botanical uh, botanical framelits or thinlets rather these leaves were you um, made using the festive flower punch and they were actually cut out of with 30 flamingo cardstock but then I stamped on them with um, one of the pine the pine tree from lovely as a tree to create a little bit of texture which kind of gets hidden because I then sponged over it but if you look really really carefully you can see that there's some texture on there after I did that to get this gold embossed edge I ran the leaves through the uh, Versamark uh, ink pad and then stamped the little kind of speckly stamp from Timeless Textures over it before putting the gold embossing powder over the top. Then Timeless Textures was used to you to make the background and again I can stroke the verse and mark down the edge of there before then stamping with the Timeless Textures to create that really lovely kind of gold gold border. Then in the centre of the flowers is a nice big pearl. And the centre of these small ones is the little ones. Here we have a peekaboo peach. And these leaves are from the Birthday Blossoms flower um, set. It has some lovely flowers. Uh, it's got this background here and this these leaves. So I stamped the leaves onto the peekaboo peach cardstock. And then hand cut those out. That took a little while. <laughs> um, and then using some tweezers to create some shape into the leaves so basically I hold the tweezers, oh, sorry, hold the leaves and grab the tweezers and give them a twist and that's how I create that that bit of a shape into them and then mounted it all with dimensionals to create a kind of very 3D effect there and then these butterflies they were stamped with Versamark ink with black embossing powder over the top of it and then sponge with a little bit of peekaboo peach over the top and then a layer of peekaboo peach for the underneath butterfly there. Here we have, oh I've forgotten the name of this colour now, <clears throat> sweet sugar plum. I'm still getting used to them you see. So the flower here was made with the flower medallion stamp and the leaves with the botanicals uh, builder, sorry botanical uh, framelits, thinlets, uh, including this background glimmer paper piece. These flowers were made with petite petals, and then the, the glimmer was the silver glimmer paper I sponged with the 
sweet sugar plum just to give it a little bit of colour and it's particularly picked it up along the edges but it does give the silver glimmer paper a really lovely effect there. Then I use timeless textures again in the background there. Uh, the, the, the kind of 3D aspect of the flower was created with the uh, tweezers and I think I even cut into the flower a little bit so that it would um, sit better once um, all the texture was kind of put into it. Okay, well, lastly but not least, is this one with dapper denim. Uh, this rose was made using uh, circles. So there's four large two, two inch circles. Then these circles, I think, are the one, one and three quarter. Then this spiral kind of rose effect was made using a two inch circle punch that I cut a spiral into and then uh, rolled it up using my tweezers and then stuck it down with hot glue to uh, keep that shape. And then very carefully, I put a row of the basic pearls around there just to create that little kind of centerpiece. Then we here we have some flowers from the botanical uh, thinlets and the centre as well there. <clears throat> Those have little pearls attached to each of the little stamens and the leaves here are from the kind of eclectic stamp set and then the leaves have been hand fussy cut out and I don't know if you can see very very kind of subtly there are little kind of raindrops that I've put on the leaves and that was that was done using the fine tip glue pen. And I did the same here on these ones as well. These have got little raindrops on them. Right, well, thank you very much for joining me. And I was so, so privileged to be able to make these samples and really enjoyed doing them. Um, they, they were a labour of love and they, they took a little while, but um, I hope that they inspire you and you can use some of the techniques on cards and that you make yourself. Uh, please, if you have any questions at all about some of the techniques used, uh, you'd like me to clarify anything, please contact me. Uh, please go to artfulstamping.co.uk. My contact details are on there. Bye bye.